Hello Aquarius, this is going to be a love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. Um, if this is not your message, check out your other placements, your uh, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, all right, so I'm going to get right into it, Aquarius. This is the Druid Craft Tarot deck that I'm using. All of the decks that I use will be just in the description box below. For Aquarius, please spirit, when it comes to love, what do they need to know? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. For Aquarius, please. All right, for Aquarius spirit, what do they need to know? Eight of Swords. Someone feeling a bit stuck. Five of Pentacles, definitely. Someone not, not having a good time here in this connection. Five of Swords, Reverse. Uh, someone here tried to take advantage of a situation and weren't successful. Um, possibly there was deception, uh, a loss, a defeat, failure. Someone's overcoming that or wanting to overcome that. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Look how beautiful this card is. I love this deck so much. So yeah, Ace of Pentacles, definitely a new opportunity here. A new opportunity that can have long-term success. Tell me more. The star reverse, Aquarius energy, there you are. So you're feeling a little bit hopeless right now, maybe try not to lose faith in the situation, needing to still heal possibly. And then finally, the Prince of Wands reverse. Someone wasn't able to commit to you or, or was deceptive about how committed they were to you. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, my goodness. A lot of pain here, a lot of heartache. A lot of disappointment with the Three of Swords. Something, excuse me, something happened here. Left you feeling stuck, left you feeling left out, abandoned. Like you're struggling. This could also be your person feeling this way, Aquarius. Flip it how it resonates, but whoever this is, whether it's you or them, uh, they're not having a good time. Someone here tried to have their cake and eat it too, and they failed. It blew up in their face. So let's see, for Aquarius, please. I've pre-shuffled these, but I'm gonna shuffle them a few times on camera. For Aquarius, please. What do they need to know about this situation? This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Started using it for personal readings and I just fell in love all over again. So you'll be seeing it in this spread, these spreads that I've been doing for the second half. All right, let's start with this Eight of Swords for Aquarius, please. What is this Eight of Swords about here? Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, some sort of ending here. Someone's um coming out of it. Someone's healing from something that was very painful. Um, but they still feel stuck. Let's see, what else can we get here for the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords here? Uh, Ten of Swords Reverse is also my card for like forgiving and moving on. The Empress Reverse, interesting. Something here was not able to be manifested or created. Uh, the Empress Reverse tends to be controlling, smothering. Um, typically, they don't invest in the right thing. They don't. They don't put effort in the right thing, and that's why it doesn't work out. Typically, the Empress is in a long, long-term commitment. Um, so something here did not work out. A commitment was broken or something was not able to be manifested here. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Yeah, someone here is defending themselves, protecting themselves, fighting for fighting for themselves here. But at the same time, they're stuck in their head about something, possibly this ending. You know, they might they might still be defensive and, and kind of block anything that's opposing them, but it doesn't mean that they're not hurting. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Yeah, 
someone's heartbroken struggling with the heartbreak here tell me more about this five of pentacles and the deception oh, wow this was terrible aquarius someone here tried to get away with something someone here was trying to avoid a fight or avoid uh getting caught tell me more for this five of pentacles and all they ended up causing was pain oh they got two cards there three of pentacles reversed something wasn't working out here something wasn't able to be built um, this could also be a third party situation where there's some sort of interference it doesn't have to be another partner it could be anything that interferes in your connection distance finances children um, it could be another partner but it could be any of those things basically tell me about this five of swords reverse Someone was not able to win against you or take advantage of the situation. Someone's overcoming this betrayal. Again, I'm getting that sense that someone's overcoming what happened to them here. Healing, trying to heal. Knight of Cups reversed. Someone here tried to manipulate you. Be careful. Um, this is the Knight of Cups tends to say whatever they need to say. Yeah, to get you to see their side, to get you to open up to them again. This is a very toxic energy that's surrounding you. Um, this is someone who is um, unhealthy for you or has unhealthy motives. Capricorn energy there with the devil. Again, feeling bound here. Tell me about the five of swords. Success. Someone here is... Um, trying to have success with you trying to trying to weasel their way back in is what i just heard so be very careful i don't think this is someone the knight of cups reverse is not someone you can trust see we got page of swords at the bottom here this is all about essentially deception using the truth to your advantage leaving things out when it's convenient white lies not telling the whole truth that's the page of swords reverse so you want to be very careful about what that what this knight of cups comes to tell you or what they're telling you about a situation they might be telling you that the way you remember a situation is not how it actually happened and that's bs I'm telling you right now try not to curse on this channel but um i really did want to curse there because you know i could tell i could i could feel the energy here uh, from this Knight of Cups, it's not a good energy. I don't trust that Knight of Cups, and you shouldn't either. Let's get down to this Ace of Pentacles. What is this all about down here? What's this Ace of Pentacles about? What's the Ace of Pentacles about? For Aquarius. Yep, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Someone wants to make an offer here, but they don't have the resources or they're they're going to be extremely blocked. They're still going to make the, and there's that Knight of Wands. They're still going to make the effort. Um, but see, what, I, uh, what I'm seeing here is someone here wants to make the effort to make a solid offer, but they're unable to. So instead, they're going to resort to Knight of Wands energy to make this happen. My goodness. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, please. What else can you tell me? Page of Pentacles reversed, the full reverse. Yeah, someone is it's gonna be very reckless because doing it right takes too much effort. Doing it right takes too much time. Doing it the right way, there's too many burdens, too many blockages. So instead, I'm gonna take a reckless risk. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be, it's not gonna be good. Look what I'm seeing here. You see what I'm seeing there? Page of Pentacles reverse, full reverse, reckless energy, impulsive energy, coming in quick without thinking, etc., etc. All this person's thinking is about their happiness. The sun at the bottom here. Could be children involved. Doesn't have to be. Leo energy here with the sun, uh, Aries energy with the fool, and then we got. Well, we got the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. I wonder if you're going to be like Libra and get all four knights. They got all four knights in their, their reading. I have two aces here, one reverse, one upright. So this is someone that it's almost like they want to have a long-term commitment and an opportunity. They want to have success here, you know, success. 
However, they don't want to do it right because that is takes too much effort, too much focus. They don't have the resources. They don't have the finances. They don't, you know what I mean? It's too hard. So they're going to resort to other things. I feel like you're, you're blocking this person either energetically or in some way, almost like stay back kind of energy. But in your head, you're still bound to this person. And that's how they're able to get back in. So be very careful. And I think I had a similar reading for you recently. Tell me about the star reverse. Tell me about the star reverse for Aquarius. Tell me about the star reverse. Two of cups. Yeah, you're losing, you're trying not to lose hope or faith in a partnership. You still want to work on it. Tell me more about the star reverse. This could also be your person. Yeah, look at this death, Scorpio energy. Something needs to change or transform though. Something might have to end here. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, I have the 10 of wands behind that. Page of cups reverse. Heartbreak. Burden. A burden needs to be dropped here regarding a partnership. Something here needs to end or transform. Someone's working on trying to either end this or transform it, change it. Why death? Why is death here? Because they want to speak up. They want to move. They want to heal this. Tell me more about why death. Yeah, someone here wants to communicate, wants to have emotional fulfillment with you, wants to have a happy ending here with you. Um, they're stuck on the past with the Six of Cups reversed. They're stuck on making this happen. They don't want to give up. They don't want to lose faith. This could be you or them. Because of the strong connection. This connection that you have with this person keeps you there. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. But then again, we have this Knight of Wands reverse. We have the Knight of Cups reverse. We have the Ace of Cups reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. Should I keep going? We have the full reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse. You know what I'm saying? I don't like this energy. Look at that. The same cards... The same cards that I had in the bottom of the deck came out. Page of um, Prince of Wands Reverse is the Knight of Wands Reverse. Burden, heartbreak, walking away here. What I'm seeing here is someone needs to walk away from this Knight of Wands Reversed. This Knight of Wands Reversed might have walked away from you and it caused a lot of heartbreak. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. I feel like this Knight of Wands reverse is a burden on your heart, on your mind. Yeah. Three of Swords reverse. There's a Three of Swords. There's a third party energy here, an interference. That's the, the second three that comes up reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. We have the King of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Empress reverse. Bottom of the deck, there's more, more tired energy. Nine of Wands. I feel like what I'm seeing here is that this Knight of Wands reverse, which again is someone who is, you can't rely on them for anything. They're in, they're here for a good time, not a long time. They cannot commit or are not willing to commit. They want to have their cake and eat it too. Uh, they tend to leave heartbreak in their wake, which makes sense. I have the Three of Swords here. I have the Three of Swords reversed here. Typically, this means overcoming or healing from a from a, a painful situation when it's reversed. But because I have a Three of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Swords, someone here was deceptive about an interference. Someone, and I hope it's you, 
I hope it's you. You've healed from this. In order to, and, and that healing has has allowed you to walk away, but I think deep down you're still trying not to give up. You want to have a new beginning. You want a change. You know. And we got the star. These are all upright, by the way. So it's almost like, it's almost like you you know that this is not. That this is not good for you you know that this is heartbreaking you know that this person either they're not a good partner or you are dependent on this person for some reason you know here we go we got the queen of pentacles reverse page of cups reverse ten of wands this 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 heartbreak this Queen of Pentacles reverse energy, which to me, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, they tend to be needy. They are dependent on other people. They're not good with money. They're not good partners. They tend to be selfish as well. They can't give anything. They don't have anything to give. And this is a burden. You know? We got the Three of Swords reverse, third party reveal, or, or some sort of third party energy, overcoming a third party energy. And then the Eight of Cups. So my hope is that you're walking away from this. One more, please, for Aquarius. I get one more, please, for this Knight of Wands reverse. Now, of course, people can change. I'm not saying that this person's always going to be like this, but. I'm telling you what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. Let's get one more just for the just for the heck of it. One more, please, for Aquarius. One more. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone here is going to realize that they wasted their time. They were waiting for something that never came. With someone that they can't count on. That's what I'm seeing, Aquarius. I, I do see that someone here is holding on to the hope of having this be a happy family, a happy situation, a soulmate connection. But, you know, don't get it twisted. I have the I have death here. So it's like some something needs to really transform for this to happen. Like I'm talking about night and day for this to happen. I'll leave it here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got something out of it. If it did not resonate, check out your other placements. Like I said, not every reading that you watch is meant for you. Uh, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.